I really congratulate um, uh, Jerry, I think, on putting this um, film together. Yes, at one hand, on the one hand, um, it is taking lots of different strands of what spirituality and religion and medicine mean um, and putting them all into two, into two hours. Um, I, I don't see that as necessarily a, a deficit. You can't go into the particularities and depths of any of those traditions or, um, uh, uh, um, uh, but I think that raising consciousness about these kinds of questions um, and bringing it to the consciousness of the of the public um, and then challenging them and using these educational moments to think about um, you know our uh, you know their differences for instance between these different spiritual uh, and religious approaches is a way to use this um, uh, educationally medicine is a humane art because it heals human beings and every human being is different, has different needs. And uh, it isn't enough just to say, we endure this. I don't think stoicism is a particularly attractive way of dealing with suffering. I too often read books that try to deal with the question of theodicy. How does a good God allow suffering? And I think as a Christian, I would say this film highlights perhaps one of the one of the chief ways in which suffering has a, a role in life. Um, it, it reduces us to a point where um, we realize that many of the things we value uh, are uh, not very important, that um, our faith brings us closer to God. That was certainly the message of the book of Job. Uh, it took suffering to make a, a very wealthy man uh, fall back on no resources at all, and so he turns to God. And uh, I, I see the caregivers who get joy and deep satisfaction uh, by communicating love to those who are in need, in many cases to members of their own family, and they too are drawn deeper in their love for each other, but also for strangers in hospitals, for infants in arms, and for a man 100 years old uh, the joy of being a caregiver, stepping in alongside that person, sharing in the suffering, but also in the way in <clears throat> which faith in God has made that whole experience deeper. I think your editing was just fantastic because the, the, the tension was between spirituality as a phenomenon that can be manipulated uh, for benefit of our choosing and reached sort of its pinnacle um, in, in the segment that came to an end with Herbert Benson's discussion of the relaxation response. And your immediate cut was then to the pastor in Hamilton who says, God is not a Coke machine. <laughs> uh, which was just a beautiful segue to um, the other resisting temptation, which is this is not something that can be manipulated, but is absolutely essential for interpreting what it all means. But it, that, that seemed to be one of the biggest tensions in the midst of it. And I'm wondering whether you can speak in any way to how, what you make of that tension having um, had conversations with all of these people over, over these years. You know, we're, we're documentarians, so we approach this from more of a journalistic approach. Um, so I think as filmmakers, of course, we're looking for drama and tension uh, for that, some of that back and forth. We wanted to, you know, I think for us to be, for the film to be credible for a public television audience, we also had to sort of look at this from all angles. Um, there's going to be a lot of people who are watching this on public television who may not agree or may think or may need to be, maybe they're, they're just, they're not convinced. So we wanted to approach this not from a, a, a direction of, you know, we, we agree with this and we think that this, you know, spiritual and, spirituality and health should be integrated in all ways and this is the answer. We, we really wanted to it to be a, uh, an exploration, a true exploration of the subject from, from all angles. That's great, Dan. Yeah. I mean, I, I'd agree with that. And again, um, in trying to craft an, uh, like an educational tool for, um, for healthcare professionals, I think that's one of the questions that needs to be raised in the, f and the film 
done by good documentarians does raise those yeah, questions. Yeah. Does does its job by raising those questions and doing it in uh, in the in the subtle way of letting the people um, speak uh, uh, speak their various views. There has to be some of the yin and yang in the program, otherwise it's looked upon as, in quotes, propaganda. That it's, so it was that delicate balance. We were, not, we were just documenting it, but, but where we could, you know, for example, when we filmed at Chicago and uh, the gentleman who had alcoholic issues said, God and I ain't friends, or the woman who said she was an atheist. Mm -hmm. This kind of, so that it wasn't always kumbaya, <laughs> was very, very important. And the biggest challenge, of course, was we started with 200 hours to come to two. So that wasn't chopped liver. That was not a walk in the park. <laughs>